Do you ever start off with one of them songs when you pick up a sample and you think, wow, this is it. This is, this, this is going to sound incredible once I put it together. And actually, once you've aligned all the samples in your door and you've, um, you've added all the EQ and the effects and everything you needed and you, and you play it back, you think the initial excitement that you had when you first created the track, it, it doesn't really play out in terms of comparing it with some other tracks that you hear. It just doesn't have that life in it. And I think there's one thing that we all do which really affects how a track sounds and that, that's how we lay the samples. We lose the performance elements. So what I wanted to do today is show a very basic example, really, of a track that's made using laying samples out in the door versus one that uses a fairly simple performance mode. So here we go, let's have a little look. So for this example, we'll use Remix Live and a track that's been put together professionally. We can see here how the samples have been laid out in traditional door style. And the producers quite obviously made a lot of effort in terms of choosing the positions for the samples and how they blend together. But for me, the final result lacks a bit of life, really. Let's have a listen. You can see a bit of variation in the kick drum coming up here. I don't think there's actually anything wrong with the samples or way they've been laid out. But I do feel this way of creating tracks does limit creativity. So let's switch the app into performance mode and see if it makes any difference. So in this mode, I will need to actually manually trigger each of the samples uh, and decide what feels right to me, really. There's a bit of chance involved and a bit of risk. So I'll start with adding a bit of snare to the bass drum and then some tops, and then we'll move into the main section. Bring in the lead line here. Strip it back a bit. First time I've really heard this track, but I think after playing with this for an hour or so, I reckon I could do something quite interesting just by experimenting, really.
I'll strip it right back again and fade out. The process of taking a risk by triggering and samples manually, I think brings something human to a track that you miss when you lay them out carefully using the grid in a, a sampler. Hope you found this useful and I hope it will encourage you to go out and use performance mode when putting your tracks together. If you're interested in music production, don't forget to like and subscribe.